of so many like a week as a first year is one of like the most coolest things that are just like it's just a mass way to meet people well at the university i went to i know they, they really provided a great student experience that was like that was one of my highlights it was a week for sure um playing rugby was also sweet and meet people that way i think once you're here like you're studying something hopefully that you really enjoy and you know you're only, only in classes like uh, so many hours a week in labs so there's really a lot of time for you just to enjoy being here. Uh, honestly, I don't think I had much in the way of surprises. Um, I remember one time I was uh, early on at UMBC in tears because they wanted a research paper and I had spent so many years learning how to write essays. Um, so I burst into the, the student um, education area and said, what is this research paper? What are they talking about? And it turned out it was an essay. So. <laughs> When you leave SMU, you have a, a huge, this is it, I'm doing my four years and my life begins after that. And, and in reality, your life is happening right now. Your life is happening while you're at university. Um, you can have goals, of course you should, but um, life's more complex than that. I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but I think probably everyone always has doubts <clears throat> when they're undertaking something, especially something as, as big as a university. It's a different experience, you know, coming from coming from home, living with your family, and then being in a dorm with some of your friends and, and new friends, and um, you know, you're kind of your own boss. Um, you know, that being said, there's things that present themselves. I think just you know, the more involved you are in SMU, it prepares you for a lot of the challenges that you know present themselves at university. So it wasn't a whole lot that I was I was worried about when I left. I feel like SMU prepares you pretty well. Um, like the opportunities and, and, and activities that you can take part in here prepare you for a lot of the things that I think university can throw at you. Being flexible and careful with yourself, not putting huge massive amounts of pressure on yourself um, and letting yourself deal with the current situation on the ground and not what you thought it would look like, that those would really help. Uh, well, I think it's really important to remember why you're here. <laughs> you know, you're here to, to learn and to get a degree and a lot of people come here without like a you know they, they want to go to university and they want to learn things but they don't really know like what they exactly they want to study so often I think you can kind of lost in that you got like make sure you take that first two weeks to just really enjoy yourself like you know get to know people get to be familiar with what you're doing uh, don't fall behind on reading though because that that really like, ends up hurting you later mainly just outlook it's 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 all about how you perceive it like you know uh, you're going to have your ups and downs at university, just as your ups and downs in high school and in life in general. It's just how you address that and how you overcome it and persevere. So. As long as you can kind of set your priorities and make sure that you stick to that, then you, know, you should probably find a good balance. So. You know, something I do is I would, uh, I would go seek out my teacher or TA and like, look, like, this exam didn't go as well as I liked. I want to do better. What can I do? And if, if they couldn't help me, I'd at least get them to show, point me in a direction of someone who could. I mean, life deals you weird stuff. You have to actually deal with it. Being incredibly tunnel vision, um, you miss out on opportunities and you kind of drag yourself through perhaps more than you need to. I know at the end of my first year, um, I had some serious reservations about whether I made the right choice to go back and use the right fault I started something and there were certain elements out there that I loved and certain things, kind of like the weather that I didn't like. But, um, you know, it grows on you and it grew on me and I think it's one of those things where if you can just try to have fun and, and work hard on things that matter, like school, then you know, you should, should do pretty well, so. Uh, in London, yeah. really, really, really ugly, yeah. It's, uh, I think the first day it snowed, I had 8.30 class and uh, I had 8.30 accounting class, which isn't that fun. And uh, I woke up and there was three and a half feet of snow on the ground in early November and I just, my jacket back off and went back to bed. There was no way I was going to walk to class, so. Yeah, I had a few, um, a couple of my friends, uh, obviously not naming names from, from that I went to school with here, um, I don't think made the transition as easy. Uh, I probably couldn't pinpoint why it would be that that happened. Um, you know, if I had to say one thing, I'd say maybe they weren't quite as involved as they could have been. I think that getting involved from the get-go um, really helps ease the transition process. Um, I'd say that the resilient ones are, are very goal-oriented. Um, 
But I would say if you're going and you're going to be taking courses in literature and maybe some history and maybe some, or if you're going as a doctor, those are very different experiences. The first challenge probably came in first year. I was just so used to like being involved in school with the opportunities that it has to offer that like I figured I'd try and put my hand in everything. So I was like doing rugby, I was like involved in my res, in my floor and stuff, and then I tried to get involved in clubs and and there's academics on top of it. I just find that uh, if you spread yourself a bit too thin, you're not going to be able to maximize your experience. So, Like it's hard to because a lot of the classes are, you know, you're just in a lecture. It's really theoretical and you sort of lose sight of what can I use this for in the real world. Um, so I think that's when it's sort of nice to have a plan or a goal. It's kind of tough, right? Because smooth, they're trying to give you a general education of everything, and then you go pick your direction, whereas in university, you're kind of narrowing it down to which path you want to pursue. So I guess, yeah, it's all more focused in university than in smooth. I mean, in high school, you, you have so many classes happening, and like you're busy at school from 8 till 4 every day, whereas when you're at university, you might have uh, three hours of class, and that's your whole day. It's not as regimented as coming to school where it's like, you know, arrive here for eight, stay till three, have whatever practices you go, go home, do homework. It's like, it's all based on you. So it's definitely a bit of a steep learning curve. You'll be fine, honestly. Um, I did a lot of AP courses, so I was actually tutoring for like two years. I was helping um, my friends who were doing the science um, element with their biology homework because I had done it. Yeah, just, just have fun, uh, be a go-getter, don't be afraid to go seeking people out even though it's intimidating, and uh, take your time getting into things. The university's got so many possibilities and opportunities, and there's definitely plenty for everybody. It just takes time to find what you want to do, so find that and it'll be golden. Be as active as you can, whether it's you know, different clubs or, or classroom and, and sports or whatever. And Basically, my biggest advice would be to just dive in. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable for absolutely everybody there. Just go for it. Get involved. Join the newspaper. Um, become, you know, part of the student union. Do something that you're passionate about. Do art somehow. I guess at the end of the day, you know, everything works out. And uh, I think for the most part, a lot of what you learn in the serves you really well for for anything that might present itself at school, so just kind of have fun and, and work hard and I think the rest of it will take care of itself. <laughs>